is our time with Camp Good News. I'm Deanna and today I'm going to teach you how to paint a watercolor flower. For this project you will need some paper, preferably watercolor paper because it doesn't wrinkle, but if you don't have any plain sheet of paper like this would be fine. You also need some water, a plate or something to hold your paint, a paintbrush that has a point, a color for the petals, I chose red but you can choose whatever color you want, and green for the leaves. Before we start, I'm going to introduce the verse of the day, which is 1 Peter 1, 24b through 25. And the B just means the second part of the verse. And it says, the grass will wither and the flowers will fall, but the word of our God lasts forever. And that just means the things that we value, such as our clothing, toys, video games, they only are temporary because, you know, they'll break or we'll lose them or we'll move on to something better. But God, he offers us things that last forever, such as love, joy, and peace. Okay, I realize um, that not all of you have two paints and that's okay. You can use this type, it's just on a palette, still watercolors, or you can use a different type of paint if you don't have watercolors. And if you don't have any paint, that's okay too. This type of flower can be done with crayons or colored pencils. And the flower I showed you earlier, I'm gonna do multiple colors of it. So to start, we're going to get our paintbrush wet and choose a color for the middle of our flower. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna dot, make some dots like this. When you're done, I'm gonna rinse out my brush. And this piece of paper is to dry my brush. For the petals, I'm gonna choose purple. We're just gonna go like this and we're gonna make some squiggly lines. Because petals aren't perfectly round. Some are pretty close, but this type isn't. Every flower is different, so however yours comes out, it's unique because you made it. And you're gonna have to get your paintbrush wet a couple times, and that's okay. But make sure the outside of your petals is nice and dark so that when we shade it in, it doesn't look like a big blob of purple. And if you want your flower to be a big flower with lots of petals, you just keep adding. If you want it to be a smaller flower, you just don't put as many petals and you can make them smaller. Okay, so the outside of mine is almost done. I'm just gonna make this a little darker. And then I'm gonna take some water and I'm gonna drag from the edge of the petal down and it makes a line like this and just keep going. Your paintbrush gets dry just get some more water don't let it get too wet remember so it doesn't run and it doesn't make streaks on your paper just gonna keep doing that like this you don't need to get more paint because you got plenty on the edges of your flowers you just fill in each petal like that more water You don't need to worry about each petal looking the same either. It's okay if they're different shades. That's what's kind of cool about watercolors. You never know how it's going to turn out. And each thing you make is very unique. They're, none of them are going to turn out exactly the same. One more after this. It's just a color. There we go. Now I'm gonna rinse out my brush and grab some green for the leaves. I'm just gonna go like this. Point. 
and I'm going to fill it in just like I did with the petals. So I'm going to do it again, but make a smaller one. Here we go. And now I'm going to do it in a different color. This time I'm going to make the center red. And this flower is going to be a little smaller. Rinse off my brush, dry it off some, and my petals are going to be yellow this time. It's okay if it bleeds or gets in, it actually looks kind of cool that way. Some flowers are like that. Some flowers have other colors mixed in with it. Now I'm going to fill it in, so I'm going to get some water. I think it's actually looks really cool with the red all mixed in with it. It's a little bit orangey, but it also has the red still, and it still has the yellow. If the yellow's not showing enough, you can go over it with some yellow too. Get some more yellow on your brush. It's okay if it's a little messy. Watercolors look good that way. It's kind of unique about watercolors. Right, that one's done. And I'm going to add some leaves. But they're going to face this way this time. If you notice outside, all the leaves are kind of facing different directions. So I don't want them all facing in the same direction. Here we go. I'm going to do one more flower. I'm going to choose the middle to be purple. And I'm going to put it over here. This one's also going to be a little smaller. And the outside's going to be red. more pink because it's a little too light. Okay, now I'm going to fill it in. I don't want my paintbrush to be too wet though because the rest of my flower is pretty wet. I don't want it to run too much. They all just look like a blob and we don't want that. Purple's getting in there, that's okay. It almost looks like tie-dye. There we go, almost done. Fill in some white spots. Make some faces darker. And that's up to you, it's your flower. Okay, I'm gonna fix up the middle a little bit. So it ran that way, I'm going to make it run all this way. Looks kind of cool that way. Now I'm going to rinse out my brush and add the petals. They're going to go this way. Some more green paint. And another one this way. There you have it. There are three examples of how to paint a watercolor flower. Remember, all the good things we have are gifts from God. But what makes the love and joy and peace that he gives us so much better is that it never goes away. Well, thank you for joining us today. If you have any questions, you can let us know in the comment section. Or if you have any ideas for paintings or drawings or whatever, you can also let us know.